So I'm going to be installing Kubuntu, and this is 24.04 Beta Edition. I'm going to be installing it in a desktop computer. So I created a bootable USB drive with Kubuntu, and I'm going to boot up the desktop computer with the USB drive. So I'm going to select the USB drive to boot up from. So I'm going to select the first option, Install Kubuntu. So OK, here you can select your language. This is for internet connection. I'm going to click on Install Kubuntu. So this is the welcome page. So I'm going to click Next. So here you have to choose your location. This is region and zone. I'm going to leave it as default. Click Next. This is the keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as default. Click Next. So this is the installation mode. There's full installation, normal installation, and minimal installation. I'm going to select full installation. And this is additional options. Download and install updates following installation. I'm going to check that. This is installed third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi, and additional media formats. I'm going to check that also. I'll click Next. So this is the partition section. And here you have to select the storage device. I only have one hard drive. There are two options here, erase disk or manual partitioning. I'm going to select erase disk. I'm going to leave it at swap to file and the file extension. I'm going to leave extended for. Here you have the option to encrypt the system. I'm going to click next. So I'm going to type a name. I'll type a password. And there's an option here, login automatically without asking for the password. I'm going to leave this unchecked. Click Next. So this is a summary of the installation. I'm going to click Install. So it's installing. So it's all done. I'm going to restart the computer. Okay, so this is the logon screen. I'm going to log in. So this is the KDE desktop environment. I'm going to click Next. So on the panel, this is the Applications Launcher. So this is Favorites. This is All Applications. This is development. This is games. Graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is office. Science and math is settings. This is system. This is utilities. So this is the System Settings app, and this is the Discover Software Center. This is the Dolphin File Manager. So I'm going to open the Discover Software Center app. So I'm going to click on Settings. So I'm going to install the Flatpak backend, and this integrates Flatpak applications into Discover. So this is going to load more applications into the Discover app where I can download. I'm going to click Install. So these are a list of all the applications that you can download. This is all applications. This is Vim. I'm going to install Vim. This is accessibility. Accessories, developer tools. This is education. And this tells you how many items are there that you can download. This is games. There's graphics. There's internet. And this is web browsers. 
This is multimedia. And this is office. This is science and engineering. And here are more categories. So this is system settings. This is applications add-ons. This is plasma add-ons. I'm going to download VLC player. So I'll right click the desktop. I'll select configure desktop and wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers. I'm going to select this wallpaper. You can also get new wallpapers here and this will be downloaded from online. I'll click apply, click OK. I'll click on configure display settings. I can change the resolution here. So on system settings, I'm going to click on appearance. So I'm going to choose this theme. I'm going to select both of these options. Click apply. So I can right click the panel and I can configure icons only, task manager, show alternatives, add widgets. You can also search for widgets here. So you can drag a widget to the desktop, for example, the cloth. So I'll right click the panel and select enter edit mode and I can change the height of the panel. So on the system settings, I'll select users. I can add a new user here. So this is connections. I'll click on network settings and here you can configure a proxy, network preferences, SSL preferences. You can configure cookies here. And this is Windows Shares. So there's workspace behavior and you can configure all of these settings. For example, virtual desktops. There's only one virtual desktop. I can add more just by clicking on the add button here. So you can configure desktop effects here. So these are listed by categories, accessibility, appearance. There's focus. Desktop animation. Yes, tools, virtual desktop, switching animation, window management. So on the lower right side, there's a speaker icon. This is a network. This is the status and notifications. And this is the clock. So Kubuntu 24.04 Beta Edition, it comes with KDE Plasma and the version is 5.27. So this video is a preview of the Kubuntu 24.04. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.